After what felt like a nearly endless winter in Johnson City, the ETSU men's tennis team is finally back in action, readying themselves for the 2011 Atlantic Sun Conference season. Among the squad's many talents, ETSU returns the reigning player of the year and preseason player of the year, junior Sanders Gillet, as well as senior Charles Batoni, who became just the third player in program history to enter the NCAA men's singles tournament in 2010. Despite not advancing past the first round, Batoni was simply happy to have the experience. Uh, that was an amazing experience, of course, being to Georgia with the best players in the country. So, um, yeah, I'm, to, I'm pretty proud of this. And uh, I didn't, I played very good, actually, even if I lost pretty easy, 6-1, 6-1. But I think uh, that was a good tournament and a good experience to go there. On the doubles side, Batoni will team up with fellow senior Greg Ateras, but the number one doubles pairing for ETSU will be Sanders Gillet and sophomore sensation Jesus Bondres. Just have a great chemistry. It started off right from the start when we, when we first saw each other. We got paired up on practice, started playing doubles, and it just clicked right away. On practice went well, we won a lot of matches. Um, it's just great chemistry, and I think that, that helps us a lot during the match. The ball is clearly in ETSU's court as they gear up for a fifth consecutive run at the Atlantic Sun Championship. But Coach Yasser Zatini is confident that his squad can hold serve after a rigorous non-conference schedule. Records are all misleading. Granted, Stetson is a wonderful team and North Florida is a magnificent team uh, with the potential of all beating us. At the same time, uh, our schedule is nothing to shake a stick at. I mean, playing Georgia, playing Tennessee, playing Virginia, playing Binghamton, uh, playing Louisville, playing everybody like that, it, it's, uh, it prepares our team to, uh, for greater things. And, and, you know, if we lose to one of those teams, I'll be extremely disappointed, but at the same time, they're great. So for us to, to have played those high-caliber competition early, I think we'll be ready. There's no doubt in my mind. It's a tough schedule, but you know, we played well at certain positions, and I think it definitely makes us stronger down the road like it kind of did last year. We had a really tough schedule at the beginning of last year, and it really helped us. We peaked towards the end of the season when we beat Alabama, and we had that good conference run. So I, I really think it benefits us in a good way, even though the record might not show, but we, you know, we've had a lot of success the way we scheduled, so it's been, it's been pretty good over the last few years. In tennis, one shot can make all the difference. ETSU may only get one shot at five championships in a row, and they've got everything they need to make that shot count. Reporting for Inside Buck Sports, I'm Keith Brink.